out here today on the North Arm and on the Jetty Breach and we're sampling to see how successful our second breach that Rain Coast has developed is at restoring connectivity to the salmon here. One of the biggest issues to salmon conservation on the Fraser is habitat loss and also issues of connectivity. So basically that means that salmon aren't able to access all the habitat that there is still here, which is a big issue because the Fraser is an area that's really developed. So it's important to restore those pathways so fish can access that habitat and have more places to get bigger and more competitive before they head out to the ocean for their adulthood. So I'm working with Rain Coast Conservation Foundation and the Pacific Salmon Ecology and Conservation Lab at UBC and I'm investigating juvenile sockeye habitat use here in the Lower Fraser. My sampling is from up towards Harrison Mills and all the way out towards the eelgrass to see different habitats and also how long sockeye of different life history strategies are using that area. So this here is an example of a yearling sockeye salmon. So these fish spend a year of their life after they come out of their eggs in a lake or freshwater system before they start moving down to the estuary and eventually the ocean where they spend their adulthood. So the second life history is as a sub migrant. And so these fish are different because they come out of their eggs and then immediately move towards the estuary. So that means that they need to do their really important early development here in this habitat rather than a freshwater system like a lake. And so that's really interesting to see these fish of different sizes using the same habitat, but they use them for different amounts of time. Today, so far, we've caught Chinook salmon, which we've done a lot of research on, um, an ongoing project, and also some pink salmon, which in this year, they're starting to migrate through again, which is so exciting to see them use this new breach.